possible and uh, second is uh, you talked about the difference uh, i mean uh, similarity between human chimpanzee and uh, super intelligence and human uh, how much control do we have and what would be the real consequence and do we do you really think it, it's it's going to be sort of possible to stop it and touch upon transhumanism as you said yesterday short answer no i don't think we can control super intelligence i don't think we can create it in a way that it's aligned before it becomes super intelligence and then remains aligned with our values and interests forever afterwards. I, I don't think that's possible. And I don't think we can control it after it exists. How can you control an entity which is a million times smarter than you? I just think it's impossible. Now, there are very smart people. Uh, there's about 300 very smart people in four existential risks or risk organizations around the world working on exactly that problem. And most of them are a lot smarter than me, and I wish them Godspeed, and maybe they will come up with a solution. But to me, it just looks impossible. It's like an ant trying to control a human being. I just don't think it's possible. So, um, sadly not. And then you asked about transhumanism. Shall I? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So, the area where Gert and I most like to disagree friendlily with each other is over transhumanism. Transhumanism is the idea that humans should be allowed to augment ourselves cognitive and cognitively and physically as far as the technology will go. So um, if, if we can make ourselves immune from aging and immune from death because we're immune from aging, that would be a good thing. Death is a bad thing. So stopping death would be a good thing. Um, stopping having diseases, making ourselves stronger, smarter, wiser, able to jump over tall buildings. I think all this is a good thing, and that, that's why I'm a transhumanist. Gert thinks that there's a certain distance you can go down that road, and then we have to stop because we cease to be humored at that point. And the nub of it is, I think, this. I, and this might be a bit unpopular, I don't think being human is the most important thing about us. I think the most important thing about us is our minds, our consciousness, and if we port our minds, our consciousness into machines, for me, that's absolutely fine. I don't think I would be human. If I did that, I'd be a post-human. I, I would actually prefer that because to live for thousands and thousands of years in a state of constant bliss with opportunities that I can hardly even imagine now, that sounds great to me.